This is Mike Kavanaugh with Hero News and HIVHero.org, and I'm here with the incredibly talented and handsome Tim Hughes. How are you? Doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, and you are our Broadway hero for January, starting a new year. How do you feel about that? Oh, I feel uh, honored. I, I was honored to be asked, and, and I'm happy to start up 2014 as, as the first one. All right. More to come, but this is a, a great one to start with. So Thank tell me, Tim, where are you from? I'm originally from Wisconsin, outside of Milwaukee, oh. and... Uh, came to New York via school. I went to NYU, so I got here about 10 years ago. Wow. So how was that transition, going to New York from Wisconsin? Well, my mother dropped me off in Union Square when I was about 18 years old. Um, it was definitely different, different than Wisconsin, but wonderfully different. And um, it, it takes a while to feel more comfortable in New York, and um, I'm lucky that I have gotten to that point, and, and I do. And uh, I think I've gotten used to it now, which has been great. Uh -huh. So did you study musical theater when you were a kid? Because you would think at 6'6 six, six that you would be a basketball player. Well, I'm the um, fourth kid in my family, and I'm the third brother. So there was an expectation to be a basketball player. My dad and both my brothers played in college. So I played for a while, um, pretty intensely up until high school. And then uh, the musical was the same season as the um, basketball team, so I had to decide. And I, I wanted to do theater, so I started performing instead of doing um, basketball. Well, lucky for us, because there's plenty of basketball players, but not any <laughs> beautiful, tall, talented men to do Broadway. There are, there are tall, tall, talented men. There okay, are. Well, I'm glad I'm sitting next to one. So, so tell me, uh, you had your Broadway debut in Chaplin. What was that like? It was incredible. It couldn't have been a better debut for me. Um, the cast was wonderful. The show was an incredible experience to be a part of and to help develop that. We had a wonderful direction by Warren Carlyle, um, amazing producers, and um, I miss those people daily. I miss that cast. I miss that group. It was uh, an ex a wonderfully intimate um, experience, and I think it was a, a something that I will never forget. What, what did you feel like when you got that call that you got your Broadway sh debut? I was going to the dentist, <laughs> which was awful because I was about to sit in the dentist chair for an hour. Um, but I, I couldn't believe it. I had gotten off the train and I had um, two missed calls, um, a text and an email from my agent. And it was all immediate that I had to call him back right away. And I remember I was walking through Bryant Park and I called him back and um, he told me that um, they had found a theater and I had gotten the offer. Um, and I was going to be making my Broadway debut. I mean, it's it's an ultimate goal for uh, for many actors, and it's surreal when it actually happens, if it actually happens, and I just was lucky enough to have already experienced that. Well, you've got quite a career under your belt already, a lot of regional and national tours. You did Legally Blonde. You played the hot UPS guy. What was that like? I did. I, did. I played the UPS man um, first at uh, North Shore Musical Theater, um, under the direction of Nick Kankle, and then um, played it again at Westchester Broadway. And it's, I mean, it's the, it's the best role in the show. Uh, you, can't, uh, you can't deny that. You get to walk out on stage and, and pretty much just like do a sexy walk to some of the best written underscoring music you can find, and, and you don't have to say a word, and you've already won the hearts of, of the ladies in the audience, and, and many of the men. Yeah, I've got a big one for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a package. Right. So, Tim, one of the most interesting things I read on your resume or saw on your website, actually, is that you did a Madonna video. Tell me about that experience. I did. I did uh, Madonna's Give Me All Your Lovin' with um, Nicki Minaj and MIA. It was an incredible experience. I mean, it's, it's um, surreal to be in front of the icon and um, to be in the same room. It takes you a little bit um, to adjust to the fact that you are working with this woman who you've grown up watching as a pop star and who's been on the TV and in movies and for the first time you're seeing her in real life and working with her and touching her. Um, I actually, my responsibility was to hold on to her ass, I mean to grab her ass in this first major lift and um, 
the best story that I have is that we, after the first day of rehearsal, we finally went and met Madonna, and we were rehearsing the lifts, and the idea was that she was going to go up and then um, be pushed up onto her side, and then it was going to look as if she was walking sideways on that building, which I don't know if that actually read in the video but my job was to be like the center part of her body and then switch her it kind of right in her middle and and have both my hands on her ass cheeks and she was like and whose hands are on my ass and i was like oh me and she was like watch it <laughs> <laughs>So, Tim, one of the things I love about you and all the people that we interview is your participation in Broadway Bears. Why is that so important to you? Broadway Bears and Equity Fights AIDS um, are an incredible organization and an incredible event. I think, um, as we were saying, it's important to be continuing the conversation about HIV and AIDS. And I think at times in, um, in my generation's... Um, New York experience, that's not necessarily a discussion that is being had as often as it should. And I think that Broadway Bears, is a, is an, as much as it's a promotion of um, sexy, healthy living, it's also an important um, to remember what the cause is behind it and to um, support um, the research for HIV and support um, those who are currently um, dealing with and living with HIV and AIDS. and um, important to remember what we can be doing to um, prevent it. Go to Broadway Bears every year. You were featured last year. How was that? It was great. It was great. I mean, from to be a part of the calendar photo shoot all the way through the, the big Broadway Bears was amazing. I think my proudest moment is being on that convent and, uh, and being the lumberjack, which was, it's great. I mean, I'll, I will forever have those posters and, and, and that calendar. Nice to have hanging on your wall. <laughs> Please go to broadwaycares.org or broadwaybears.com and find out what's going on to benefit this amazing charity. The events are just unbelievable. There's tons of shows benefiting Broadway Cares that you can go to. Uh, so please show your support. Make a huge donation. They do so much, everything from supporting the Actress Fund to different organizations all over the country. Okay, Tim, this is a new segment. It's called Know Your Trash. 2014. I, we'll just start it. I love trash TV. Everyone knows that. So we're going to see how knowledgeable you are on trash TV. Okay? Ready? Yeah. What is Honey Boo Boo's mother's name? I have no idea. June. What Real Housewife was on network TV in The, ne the New Normal? Oh, my God. Um, she was also in Glee. Yeah, yeah, I can picture her. She's got the, the short hair. Oh, she's the new normal. Oh, my God, what is her name? She was Atlanta, right? Yes, yes. Um, Nadine? Nina. Nini. Nini Leakes. Yes, that's right. Who is the new bachelor? Juan Pablo. Which real housewife was on Dancing with the Stars? The two. The one that... <laughs> Oh wait, rich, okay, Real Housewife. The the older one who always wore pink. Uh, I don't. Know. I have no idea her name. Lisa Vanderpump. Okay, and the other one, flipping tables. Oh, um, that's a dear friend of mine's favorite scene. Um, I don't know. Three seconds. <laughs> Love her, by the way. On Dance Moms, who is Abby's star student? The only one I can, th the only name I can remember right now is Chloe, but she's the second one. <laughs> and I love you some Chloe, but it's Maddie. But okay, Maddie. Maddie. Pretty good. You almost got half. I'm That's not bad. Okay, yeah, I, I was, I was hesitant, but I actually knew some of those. Okay, so please watch your trash TV, and we'll keep you updated as these interviews go on through the year. So, Timothy, as you know, we're a site for newly diagnosed people with HIV. Do you have any message about the importance of being tested and to live your life the fullest if you do realize that you have HIV? I think the first part of that is it's so important to be tested. And it is a um, – it can be a, a, a nervous process. I mean, it, it is a scary um, disease that is a reality for um, everybody living in New York City, really. I mean uh, – in the country, but specifically here, there's so many wonderful resources to take advantage of that it's really important that you do. And if you are diagnosed with HIV, I mean, I 
don't know from experience, but this website is a wonderful um, resource. And if, if you happen to be living in New York City, take advantage of the support system and take advantage of um, the work that, that we have um, done so that you can have a network of people behind you to help you live and to help you um, transition your life into whatever new direction it has to go in order to, to live and survive. Tim, I want to thank you so much for being our Broadway Hero of the Month for January. You're the beginning of a new year, our New Year's Broadway Hero. You're such a nice guy, very handsome. I think your career is only going to go up from here. I look forward to seeing you in many, many things on Broadway, on TV, and in film. So congratulations for being Broadway Hero of the Month for January. Thank you so much. I'm honored. Hi, this is Timothy Hughes. I am January's Broadway Hero of the Month, at which I'm very excited and honored to be. And I just wanted to remind us all to make that New Year's resolution to have a very safe, sexy, and healthy New Year. And always remember, condoms are hot.